An advertisement for Mitt Romney didn't play well in Florida, not after an aircraft crash landed in a field. Sasha Andrade has the story. Floating backwards, it looked like it was actually coming down. When Mitt Romney hired a pilot to fly a thermal airship that looks a lot like a blimp across South Florida, the idea was to get publicity, but not this kind. It came down tail first, and then the gondola struck, uh, and then rolled to its side as it deflated. Police say this aircraft was in trouble because of high winds. The pilot was aiming for a landing at Perry Airport, but he couldn't get that far. It, it may not be breezy here on the ground, obviously but you get up to a thousand feet which this thing does operate at and I think the wind currents are a lot different. These residents were home at the time. They were shocked by what they saw. After all, it isn't every day you see something this large looming below the tree lines. It was strange. I thought, boy, Mitt Romney really wants us to vote for him. <laughs> the pilot chose to crash land in an open field south of Bamford Park in Davie. There's a flap that actually lets them deflate it and, uh, so that it didn't blow across the field in the wind. There were two people aboard. No one was injured, but a message intended for thousands to see fell flat. Well, it's not good that he fell out of the sky like that. Sasha Andrade reporting this is not the first aviation mishap for the Romney campaign. Last month, a plane flying Ann Romney and campaign staff had to make an emergency landing when an electrical malfunction filled the plane with smoke.